little boys and girls. It's story time with Santa again. And I'm here and as I'm looking at the globe and eating cookies and doing other things that I do, I'm remembering how foggy it can be all throughout the globe as we make our trip. And I fondly remember how we got to meet Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Once, there was a reindeer named Rudolph who lived at the North Pole in Toyland. Rudolph was younger and smaller than the other reindeer. They all had proud, tall antlers. Rudolph's were only little stubs. Worst of all, Rudolph had a nose that was big and bright red. It was so red, it glowed in the dark. Poor Rudolph. He wanted to be like the other reindeer. In Toyland, oh, to have a small brown nose instead of this bright red one. The other reindeer made fun of Rudolph and called him names. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! They teased him over and over again until tears glistened on Rudolph's large red nose. Sometimes the other reindeer had a, made a circle around Rudolph and sang, red nose Rudolph, red nose Rudolph, a funny sight, big as an apple and twice as bright. They kicked up snowballs with their tiny hooves and covered Rudolph with a blanket of white, fluffy snow. All the reindeer loved to play games. They played tree tag and snow slide and of course tumble bones. But Rudolph was never asked to play. He stood behind a pine tree and watched. He was very lonely. Rudolph couldn't even play hide and seek with the rabbits. His glowing red nose gave him away every time. Before Christmas Eve, Santa's elves posted a sign on the gate to Toyland. Santa's team choosing time, the sign said. All the reindeer were asked to line up at eight o'clock in the evening in the meadow. Santa Claus was coming. He was coming to choose the team that would deliver presents to every good boy and girl in the world. The reindeer fairly danced with excitement. When they had heard the news, they pranced and they tossed their heads and they pawed in the show, on the snowy ground with their hooves. Each reindeer hoped he would be chosen to guide Santa's sleigh. It was the greatest honor a reindeer could ever have. Rudolph sighed. He was ashamed to have Santa see his bright red nose. He decided to hide. At eight o'clock, when all the other reindeer had gone to the meadow, Rudolph hid in a toy pirate chest that the elves had built. It had a heavy wooden lid and big brass hinges. No one would find him there. In the meadow, all the reindeer in Toyland, except Rudolph, stood in line while Santa inspected them. Santa chose carefully only the fastest, the strongest, and the best reindeer would do. I think Dasher will be fine. He's the biggest reindeer, said Santa. Dasher wrote his elf assistant on the big book. And Dancer, he's the strongest, Santa said pulling his beard, Dasher, wrote the elf. Ho, 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 
Let's see, continued Santa. Here's Prancer and here's Vixen. They have the smoothest landings on the rooftops. Comet is the fastest and Cupid is the most sure-footed, said Santa. I pick them. And at last, said Santa, I choose Donder and Blitzen. They're best at twisting over the toys and skimming over the rooftop and telephone pole lines. The reindeer and Santa's team were very happy. Even the reindeer who weren't chosen were given good jobs. One was to try out the electric trains. Another was to cuddle with Santa's kittens. The only reindeer without a job was Rudolph. He wanted to help, but he knew he would be laughed at and made fun of. So he stayed hidden in the pirate box. At last it was Christmas Eve. Santa and his elves were busy packing the sleigh. I don't care if they make, do make fun of me, said Rudolph. I want to help too. He jumped out of his box. I'll bring Santa's team a pail of nice cool water, he decided. They'll get thirsty on their long journey. The night was bitter cold and a terrible fog covered all the earth. Santa's elves kept bumping into each other as they hitched up the team. They could hardly see as they put on each bright red harness and tied each jingle bell. To make matters worse, Dasher and Dancer were fighting over who was going to be the lead reindeer. I was chosen first, said Dasher, stamping angrily. But you always trip over the moon, said Dancer, kicking a fallen star. Even Santa came cross. We'll never get there if you two don't stop quarreling, he said. And where is my Christmas wish? Dash it all, I can't see a thing in this fog. Just then a soft red glow lit up the snow. Thank goodness, he said. Suddenly, a, and he was jolly again. I found my list. Ho, 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 ho. I must have tucked it in my belt. Who brought this fine lantern, said Santa? I must take it with me. Why, I can see perfectly now. This is not a lantern, said Rudolph. The light comes from my nose. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, said Santa. I'm certainly glad to see you. Your light will guide my sleigh tonight. I appoint you as head of my team and number one reindeer in all the world. Rudolph held his head up high. Proudly he pranced to the front of the team. All of the other reindeer bowed. Donder and Dancer helped Rudolph put on his harness, and Cupid gave him a beautiful sprig of holly berries. Then down, down through the clouds, over the sleeping houses, Santa and his team flew that foggy Christmas Eve. And leading the whole procession was Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. So if you see a soft glow in the sky on Christmas Eve, you can be sure that Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, is first of all, and that he's very near. The end. Thank you.